Hey guys, how's it going? This is Faisal from Codemasters. In this video, I would like to go over uh, the integration of Wix Chat with ChatGPT. Uh, we post, uh, we have a blog on our website uh, that showcases um, how it can be done. It's a step-by-step, -step, easy to follow. I really encourage you guys to uh, uh, go check it out. Um, and uh, what we're gonna do in this um, YouTube video, we're just gonna go through this um, blog, copy paste what it when it says copy paste, uh, add what what when it says add, and see what it's gonna give us. Uh, we'll start with with um, um, with the blank uh, canvas here, um, and we'll get right into it. Okay, so let's start with step one. Install Wix Chat. Okay, let's do that. First off, let's give this a name. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Wix chat. There you go. Let's add to the site. Let's give it a few seconds here. Excellent. Okay, so let's change the name. Chat GPT. Okay, let's publish. Yeah, well, let's do that. Perfect. So let's view the site. Okay, ChatGPT. Hi there. Let's test it and see what's going to give us right now before building anything. Okay. All right. So let's go back here and continue with the steps. Step two: Create a ChatGPT account. I already did that and I already have an API key that's good and now let's skip to this store use manager good let's do that so what it tells us here is it tells us to create um, from the secret manager a new secret and uh, name it ChatGPT key so let's do that let's go here go to the dashboard um, you see here it doesn't give us um, the tools okay so what we need probably is we need to activate first the coding let's start coding here and show good now let's refresh So now it gives us the developer's tools. So let's go back to <coughs> and the uh, code in here. It's called ChatGPT. Okay. Mm let's go here. Secret manager. That's secret. Just name it here. And for the value, I will just put a placeholder but then I will change it later, okay? Excellent, okay. So let's go back here. Um, go to the blog and continue. Okay, we enabled, we already enabled it. So let's skip to access to the back end. Okay, let's navigate to the back end and create a back end folder. And name it chat. Let's do that. Already here. Module. Let's call it chat. Okay, it's right there. We see some uh, sample code here. Let's remove it. And paste the following update. Okay, so let's do just that. 
mm, do here go to the chat.web and paste it here good okay oh this is the explanation by by the way guys you, you need to um, go through it uh, we'll just go past it but it's really important that you understand what's going on uh, if you want to obviously uh, let's go here to the next step what does it say create events okay let's name it let's go back go to the back and add .js and create the events folder okay we need to import yep okay let's copy this okay looks good let's go back explaining the code okay don't want to read that save and publish and verify the function okay enhance okay we don't need that okay perfect so let's publish now as i mentioned uh probably it wouldn't work because i need a um to update my api key right hey there yeah okay so that's what i need let's update the api key give me one second and i will get back to you guys okay i'm back it's updated okay so let's go back here and refresh did we publish let's do it again okay let me republish here open the chat and test how can i see to perfect who are you assistant for code master is here to open. okay perfect okay so now um i still need you guys uh, to check one more thing okay uh, it's not i'm not gonna go into too much uh, coding details i promise you uh, but here as you can see it's a conversational assistant for code masters and this is something that we set up from the back end okay so this is where this is the area here that you need to change to be able to make it fit your business okay so you can change uh, this you can add more information if you want uh, what I can do is I can show you what we did um, one second okay as you can see here I removed that verbiage that was in here I replaced it with a variable and I uh, uh, assigned to this variable a some information okay you can see here code masters email address phone number but you can do whatever you want okay so just make sure um, you, you add as much information as you want but not too much okay because this is uh, carried each time uh, to ChatGPT, and um, depending on the model that you choose it might be expensive to have a lot of um, a lot of data sent each time to chat to open ai okay so just be careful but other than that all looks good uh, if you guys have any questions um, please uh, visit our website go to contact us and leave us uh, a question there uh, you can call us visit our website go through uh, our blog and uh, yeah thank you very much and uh, hopefully we can see you next time bye